The Mil Mi-8 is a medium-sized twin-turbine helicopter originally designed by the Soviet Union and it is among the most produced helicopters in the world. The helicopter's design versatility, operational efficiency, and outstanding performance in a range of environments have earned its keep in civilian, military, and humanitarian operations worldwide. Today, we will discuss the design, its several variations, and its expansive operational use. The idea for the MI-8 originated in the late 1950s as a response to the need for a more efficient and reliable helicopter than the existing Mil MI-4. The key innovation that made the MI-8 possible was the advent of the gas turbine engine, which offered significant advantages over the piston engines used in earlier helicopters. These advantages included better power-to-weight ratios, increased reliability, and less maintenance. Soviet helicopter designer Michael Mill and his team at the Mill Moscow Helicopter Plant began the MI-8's development process by first installing a single 2010 horsepower Soloviev turboshaft engine in a modified MI-4. An experiment that validated the performance benefits of turbine power. This experimental model, known as the V-8, took its maiden flight on June 24, 1957. Building on this success, the design team decided to create a completely new helicopter design. Equipped with two of these engines for added power and redundancy, the resulting prototype designated as V-8A featured an entirely new fuselage, a larger cabin, and an arrangement of two turboshaft engines above the cabin, driving a five-blade main rotor. The V-8A made its first flight on July 7, 1961. The design proved successful, and the Soviet Air Force expressed interest in the new helicopter. Following a series of tests and refinements, the MI-8 entered production in 1965. The new helicopter was more powerful, had a larger payload capacity, and could carry more passengers than the MI-4, and its two-engine setup offered increased safety during flight. The MI-8's design was versatile and adaptable from the outset. The large, boxy fuselage was suitable for carrying a variety of loads, and the helicopter was easy to modify for different roles. This adaptability led to the development of numerous specialized versions. Here are some of the most significant variants. The MI-8T is the basic transport version, capable of carrying up to 24 passengers or 12 stretchers, in addition to three crew members. It can also carry 3,000 kilograms of cargo internally or 2,000 kilograms externally on a sling. It can be armed with rockets and anti-tank guided missiles for self-defense. The armed version of the MI-8T is the MI-8TV, capable of carrying up to 1,500 kilograms of weapons on six external hardpoints. These include rockets, anti-tank guided missiles, and bombs. It is often used as a gunship or direct air support platform. The MI-8MT is an improved transport version, also known by its export designation MI-17. It has more powerful engines and larger loading doors, and can carry up to 30 passengers. The MI-17 has been widely exported and used in both civilian and military roles. The MI-8 AMT-SH is an assault transport variant of the MI-8MT, featuring armored cockpits and cabin area for better survivability, and is capable of carrying a variety of weapon systems. The MI-8 PPA version is an electronic countermeasures platform Designed to jam enemy radar systems, it is easily identifiable by the 6X antenna rays on each side of the fuselage. The MI-8 MPS is a search and rescue version, used for locating and rescuing people in distress. It features additional radios and search equipment, and can be equipped with a winch for hoisting people on board. 
Next is the MI8 VIP. This luxury version used for VIP transport. It features a plush, comfortable interior and additional amenities. Finally, the MI8 MTV-5 is an advanced version of the MI8 MT. Equipped with a weather radar, GPS, and modern avionics, it can carry up to 36 passengers or 4,000 kilograms of cargo. The MI-8 has been extensively used in military operations by several nations. One of its earliest and most challenging deployments was in the Soviet-Afghan War between 1979 and 1989 where it served in a variety of roles, from troop and cargo transport to medivac and gunship. The helicopter's ability to operate at high altitude conditions and its ability to carry substantial payloads made it an invaluable asset in this conflict. It also saw extensive use in the Chechen Wars, where it was utilized for transport, medevac, and other combat roles. The MI-8 has also been involved in several Middle Eastern conflicts, including the Iraq War and the ongoing Syrian Civil War. Serving in both government forces and various opposing factions. In the civilian sector, the MI8's large carrying capacity and robustness have made it a favorite for many different roles. It has been used for passenger transport, especially in hard to reach areas, cargo transport, firefighting, and as an air ambulance. The helicopter's versatility has made it a crucial asset in industries like oil and gas, where it is often used to transport workers and supplies to offshore platforms. The MI-8 has also played a significant role in humanitarian missions worldwide. Its cargo capacity and ability to operate in diverse conditions have made it an ideal platform for relief missions. Notably, the MI-8 was extensively used for humanitarian aid during natural disasters such as the 2005 earthquake in Pakistan, where it was used to transport aid workers, supplies, and to evacuate the injured. Similarly, in the aftermath of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, the MI-8 helicopters were used for transporting humanitarian aid and assisting in rescue operations. The MI-8's ability to operate in extreme weather conditions has also made it a favorite for polar expeditions. The helicopter has been used in several missions to the Arctic and Antarctica, where its robust design and reliability are crucial for the success and safety of these operations. That wraps up the Mil MI-8, but don't forget to leave a like, share, and hit that subscribe button for future content.